But now, chat, we must move on to my next spoiler review, my next scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown of Batman the, Epis uh, uh, the Animated Series, Episode 2, Christmas with the Joker, the first appearance of Mark Hamill's Joker. Now, I got a question for you guys. How many of you have seen this episode? I'm curious. Mmm, the shower lurker. <laughs> God, what a name. Great name, by the way, man. Really great name. I'm here to lurk on all your... Oh, boy. Especially in the shower, because... Oh, boy. Because <laughs> uh, that is what I do. Anyway, uh, wait, what? <laughs> anyway, this is for former Only Zero. Oh, I got you. And, uh, uh, and Victor Vega. Oh, that's Victor Vega. Okay, you changed your name, buddy. All right. Oh, Mr. Man, that was going to creep the hell out of me. Hello, Mr. Chris. This movie is better than sex because of the twist. All right, fair enough. To each their own, Victor Vega. So I want to call you Victor Vega. But you know what? Shower Lurker is pretty good. Shower Lurker is a good name. I I'll prove of it. I'll prove of it. Chris Harris, I have Mika Shaving Me. Welcome, Mika Shaving. Good to see you. These graphics mean. Hey, Chris, did you, uh, did you get, uh, did you, Roger Ebert, got so pissed off about, yeah, it was actually, it was Gene Siskel. Mm hmm. And as you gave out her address, it was Gene Siskel that dude, uh, did that. I mentioned that before we did the review. Uh, gear. Yeah, it was, was really fucked up. It was really fucked up. And I think it was the wrong address, though. That's what it was. It was actually the wrong address, so it went to a completely different person. I don't know why Gene would do something like that. It was terrible. Gene Siskel. Hmm. Yeah, so if I, but it's been a long time. If I had, I've forgotten. Whole series and DVD. Yeah, same, same. I got the Blu-ray collection. Been years since I have seen it. Uh, Danger Mug classic episode. The kids saying Joker's Jingle Bells in school when it came out. So this was the this is where the song originated from. It was the animated series. I was always curious about like, did this start with the animated show? Or that all oh, was already beforehand. So it's cool to know that it actually came with the show. I love that show. How's it? Jingle Bells, Batman spells Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel. The Joker got away. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> there it is, chat. Uh, fun fact, I tell you, too, was a big year for Fox Kids. As Batman premiered the same year as Eat the Cat. I don't know what that is. X-Men. I know what that is. And Dog City. I don't know what Dog City is, but I know what X-Men is. Ba -na 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 -na. Ooh, I should do a someday chat. Because I want to do these cartoon reviews forever. I'll definitely throw X-Men in there. That'd be fun one to do. Mm. Uh, oh, I thought that was Shim uh, the uh, Simpsons thing. No, no. it was. I guess it was Batman made series. I guess that's what popularized, I guess, Simpsons. I was like, okay, we can use this, too. We use everything. <laughs> um, but, yeah, guys, I, I love this episode. It's not my favorite Joker episode, but, again, this is the first introduction of him, of, of Mark Hamill's Joker, and it really encapsulates, I mean, this. I mean, th th this is a single episode, like, what this version of the character will be from all time. It's like he's both funny, uh, scary, but also incredibly charismatic. I mean, so many times where, like, he would just literally laugh. Like, even though this is, a epi like, a show for kids, there's one moment in this episode, and we'll get into more detail as we go on, but, like, where he has, um, the, like, the main reporter from the animated series, like, held hostage, and there's a sequence where he's about to, like, he's gonna, he's blown up this bridge, or this train's gonna be, um, uh, uh, basically, you know, fall off this, uh, bridge chat. Gonna, like, kill all the passengers, kill all the drivers, all the staff on it. And the reporter's freaking out, and he takes off her gag, and she goes, but my mother's on that train. And then Joker is like, oh, Batman better get there fast, or we're going to have quite an explosive situation. <laughs> he just laughs at her face, Chad. It's like, I love that. I love that about him. It's like, no, you were real. You were horrible. But I love that they didn't, they didn't tone him down, Chad. Ooh, who is this? Gun dog, good name. Thank you for the follow. You're my Huckleberry. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing very, very well. But now, guys, we'll go on Christmas with the Joker. It is Christmas Eve at Arkham Asylum, the first appearance of Arkham Asylum in the series chat. And all the patients, they're just sending jingle bells. They're having a good time, chat. They're under, even though they have the fucking guards just, you know, watching them with machine guns again, chat. Then we got the machine guns again. Just like if any of these crazy motherfuckers does something, like, you know, wrong. We're going to put them down. The thing is, it's kind of fucked up, though, chat. They have the prisoners actually, like, putting ornaments on a tree. What you get is glass ornaments. You would not give these crazy motherfuckers glass ornaments. You could, they could stab someone with these ornaments. They could, you know, they can, you know, uh, slit someone's throat with them. The fact, again, shows the incompetence of the security at Arkham Asylum, chat. This is not right. And then they have the person who's also helping decorate the tree, the Joker. And he's just fucking going off, chat. Again, jingle bells, Batman spells, Robin lays an egg. I mean, just... 
getting all the prisoners riled up at this point, chat. And the Joker since like, hey, I'm the I'm the fucking head crazy here. I get to put the star on the tree. No one come near me. And he takes the star chat. He goes all the way up there, puts that sucker on, and apparently it was the catalyst for this tree because it's a matter of fact, chat, it's a rocket ship. It's a fucking projectile thing he's like all right time to leave <laughs> and he blasts off here chat he finishes the song and the joke goes away and then he's gonna start doing his schemes chat apparently he prepared a lot of this ahead of time or he prepared it within the span of 12 hours chat because batman he already gets the thing on his uh back of here like joker's fucking escaped on christmas eve and robin's like god damn it well maybe joker maybe he'll 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 be he'll be relaxed for right now batman's like robin you are a moron if you think that, like, you know, but doesn't matter. The Joker probably has a family. He'll spend all family. He's like, the Joker has no family, okay? We got to capture him tonight, Robin. That's what we're going to be doing. But we, I mean, and she, he says, listen, if we don't find Joker, if we finish our patrol tonight, how about we come home? We'll have our, uh, our manservant, Alfred, cook us a nice Christmas goose, and we'll watch A Wonderful Life. And Batman's like, I've never seen that movie. Couldn't get past the title. Again, just... He's even more dark and angsty with Robin there. Because Robin's like this leader. I was like, oh, oh, God, that man, I'm so excited. And it's like, oh, fuck, I hate you. <laughs> and so, Chad, they go off in the Batmobile, and they're doing the patrols around Gotham City. Batman, he's just being a curmudgeon. A Scrooge, as Robin calls him. He's just scoping the city. He's like, maybe we should do another run. And Robin's like, don't worry about it, Batman. Don't worry about it. But Batman spots him. He's like, Robin, look at that. And he sees... He sees a guy who's running up on this old woman. I mean, just fucking doing the Tom Cruise like, <laughs> run. Batman's like, I'm going to get that son of a bitch. We're going to get him. Robin's like, wait, Batman, don't. And Batman's jumping down there. Chat jumps in the alley right before the, the guy gets the woman. And the, the gentleman uh, chap is running towards the woman. He goes, ma'am, you dropped this package uh, two blocks back. And the old woman's like, oh, thank you. This is for my grandson. And she hugs him. She gives the guy a big old smooch chat. And again, she goes on her way. And the guy goes on his way. And Robin says, see, Batman. See, he was just helping that old woman. It's like, he still could be some, up to something nefarious. But Robin, just, let's just leave it alone. Batman, he swings off, and he's like, God damn, Bruce, take it easy. And I'm not real reason, Chad, you know, the series like this episode doesn't state it. The reason why Bruce Wayne doesn't want to celebrate Christmas, because he doesn't have a family either. It's like his family is his ward and his sarcastic butler. And he does not want to be reminded of his parents, Chad. And so uh, uh, Robin, Batman, they go home. Alfred's like, it's gonna be like another hour until this Christmas goose is done. Why don't you two watch that movie? And Roman goes, come on, Bruce, let's go over the TV, the good old boob tube. I'll turn on It's a Wonder of Life. Bruce is like, I don't want to watch it. And he's like, Rob, like, you're gonna like it, okay? Just sit down. And they turn on the TV chat. And who do they see? They just see, it's like, oh, it's a Christmas special. And they got this guy just sitting by the fireplace. And it's like, oh, I guess, it's a, I mean, it's on the channel. They turn the channel chat, the same guy by the fireplace. They change the channel again. It's the same guy. He's on all the channels. And you hear that voice. I'm sorry. Tonight's program of It's a Wonderful Life will be interrupted. And it's the Joker chat. He's taking over Gotham Airways because he has an announcement to make. Gotham, you're spending Christmas with the Joker. And since, you know, Joker's sad, though, Chad, because he doesn't have a family of his own. So he borrowed one. Which, again, is a cool little reference to later on, Chad, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. When he takes Robin, it's all connected. And then it's revealed, because Bruce Wayne's like, ah, fuck, here he is. We should have we stayed out on patrol, Robin, God damn it. Because then it's revealed who the Joker's borrowed family is, Chad. He has Commissioner Gordon as his dad. He has the reporter lady as his mom chap and he has harvey bullock as baby i think what he calls him daddy lawful uh um uh mommy lawful and baby lawful and he pinches harvey bullock's chubby cheeks it's so cute and harvey's like you son of a bitch and he puts the gag back in his mouth and he says okay so here's the thing gotham i'm gonna cause untold destruction in the city unless batman stops me first and you know, if he doesn't happen to get me uh, tonight, I'm just going to kill uh, my borrowed family here. So, And it's all going to be broadcasted live for all of you and for Batman, of course. And so Batman's like, fuck, all right, suit up, here we go. Alfred, put that turkey, that goose in the fridge. We're, we won't be back to it for a while. And so Robin and Batman, they get in their car chat. Uh, Batman, he detects like, okay, so clearly... Uh, Joker, he he's causing a lot of power because he's taking over all the airwaves in Gotham. I managed to pinpoint it here at this specific location. It's near Gotham Observatory. And while he's watching this, though, chat, because they also have Joker on the on the back of here. And Joker's like, he's already he's already a step ahead of Batman. He's like, I'm sure Batman already might know where my broadcast is. But while he's doing this, why don't I show off one of my my uh, gifts for him? And chat, 
we uh, we cut to another uh, side of Gotham City where we see two of Joker's thugs about to blow up a bridge. And Joker's like, all right, Batman, let's see. You're going to try to stop me or stop my broadcast. How about you save the people on that goddamn train over there? And he has his guys blow up this bridge with his chains coming in. And they're like, fuck, we got to fix this. And then we come back to the reporter chat. And she's freaking out because her mom's on this train. And Joker's like, I don't give a shit. Matter of fact, I think it's hilarious that your mom's on that train. And she's about to blow up and die. And he just starts laughing, Chet. And it's like, wow. I, again, it's this episode is like, oh, it's like the Joker's goofy. But he's really ominous and terrifying here, Chet. When you when you think about like, the stuff that he's doing and saying and his schemes. He's, he wants to kill a whole bunch of people tonight. Batman's like, okay, we, got, okay we, we can't go to the observatory now. We got to save these people. Or stop the train at the very least. And so, chat, Batman, he finds the train. He pulls up to it. Uh, he asks Robin, okay, Robin, get, make sure, disconnect the train so the passenger cars, they stop. I'm going to go ahead and save the conductor and the engineers. And so he goes in the front of the train, chat, just before this thing's about to go off. He's like, you got to come with me. The fucking, the, the tracks are out. The bridge is out. He grabs the guy, chat. He fucking pulls him out. They land the snow. He goes, oh, I also love snow in Gotham City. There's something about that. It's, uh, it just really sets a cool mood. Reminds me of Batman Returns, chat, Aesthet which aesthetically I absolutely adore. Um, so he jumps out, the train crashes in the ground, Joker, he just, he's, he's laughing, he's kind of disappointed, he's like, I wanted to kill all those people, oh, what a shitty present, but he's like, don't worry, we still have many gifts for all of Gotham City, and now, chap, man, it's like, okay, we saved the fucking people, we gotta go to the observatory, we gotta stop that broadcast, and so him and Robin go up there, chap, but Joker, he's prepared, because he's managed to convert the telescope into a fucking cannon, chap, like a World War II-esque just cannon that's firing these goddamn rockets at Batman. Batman's like, fuck, this thing has a beat on us. All right, shit. Robin, you go into the observatory. I'll distract the camp. So Robin, he goes right in there, chap. He goes in there. Batman's still dodging the entire time. Robin's messing with it, trying to get it, uh, you know, um, um, you know, uh, shut down. But during that, now the, now the can's just going berserk and shooting in indiscriminately. It's it's firing at buildings in Gotham City. It's taking out roads. And the Joker, he's just fucking laughing the entire time. It's like, oh, might we seem to have some technical difficulties. <laughs> like this thing is murdering people. Countless people in Gotham are running away and everything. And then Batman, he does like him and Robin. They, I think they use an explosive device. They take out the cannon. I'm like, fuck, how did he do all this in the span of 12 hours? So Joker must have been planning this for months ahead of time, chat. He couldn't have done this all on Christmas Eve. But in any case, uh, uh, okay, it's like, all right, fuck. Okay, well, now we have to find out where the Joker is, chat. Because, and Batman's like, uh, Bat Robin's like, well, where is he, Batman's like, I don't know. Uh, wait, well, this was, I thought he would be here near the observatory where his broadcast is, but this was just like a large antenna. Because that's what happened. They used the cannon to take out the antenna too. too ends the broadcast. Uh, at least for part of it. Like, only section of the city now have the broadcast. And at this point, like, Joker has not revealed himself yet. We don't know where he is. And so Batman's like, we just have to wait. Because the Joker, he can't help himself. He needs to constantly instigate Batman. He needs the attention, chat. So they listen to another broadcast. And the Joker, he, he pops on. And he's like, you know, Batman, uh, I'm going to give you a little clue for you. And he basically does it where he's giving presents uh, to his borrowed family. And for the reporter, she opens up a package. It's like a doll and it's like it's an all-time doll chat and joker he uses it to destroy like a little makeshift cardboard city it fucking blows up he blows up his cardboard audience at one point and robin's like i haven't seen one of those dolls in quite a while it's like batman's like yep and i i, I know the factory that probably manufactured him. it closed down 14 years ago clearly that's where the joker's hideout is chat and so batman and robin they go to the factory and they open that up and then the joker has all of his joker contraptions he has these giant nutcrackers that batman and robin have to fight these you know little uh, remote control airplanes where like filled with real bulls just shooting at them they destroy all this stuff you know, we have a couple of joker thugs in there batman and robin they take them out yet uh, but then the Joker, he, he's going to reveal the final act, and he has Harvey Bullock, James Gordon, and the reporter lady, and she, over, you know, a fucking vat of boiling acid, of course, and he says, listen, Batman, I'll drop them into the vat of acid unless you accept this gift I have for you, and Batman's like, ugh, fuck, and so he takes the gift chap, he opens it up, and he gets a fucking pie in the face, because even with, after all this countless murder across the city, it was all just to give Batman a pie in the face. 
That's who the Joker is, and I absolutely love it. It's crazy. And he's fucking laughing, chat. And he's like, all right, fuck this. And he cuts the rope that has uh, his bound family in. They're falling towards the, uh, the vat of acid. Batman just is like, fuck that. He jumps up, and he saves all three of them, chat. Batman's got some wide-ass arms. Because he grabs Jim Gordon, he grabs the reporter lady, and he grabs Harvey Bloke, who's a very thick man, chat. He's at least two people We're, in terms of weight. He grabs him, pushes him to the side, saves him, chat. Joker's like, all right, I'm going to get the fuck out of here now. Joker, he runs up the stairs trying to get away from uh, Batman. He trips on like a little roller skate of all things and he tumbles over, Chad, he almost into the vault, the, 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 the vat of acid. But Batman, he grabs him, grabs him by the ankle. Joker, he's laughing. He's like, ah, shit. <laughs> and that's it. And the Joker, he's sent back to Arkham Asylum, chat. And now we find ourselves uh, back at uh, Wayne Manor. They just had a nice Christmas goose with Alfred. They even allowed Alfred to sit at the table, chat. Who would have thought the help is sitting at the table, chat? But today was a special day. And so they just finished watching uh, It's a Wonderful Life. And Robin, you know, Dick Grayson, he asked, well, what did you think of it, Bruce? And Bruce goes, I mean, it had its moments. Fucking tough critic. Bruce Wayne, tough critic, chat. And then you got the whole, you know, Christmas music playing. And we cut back to uh, Arkham Asylum, chat, where you have uh, the, the Joker. He's just singing. He's just fa la 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 and just saying the entire time, just losing his goddamn mind in a straight jacket, just kicking and screaming the entire time. And that chat is Christmas with a joker. And listen, again, it has that that kind of cartoony aesthetic, but like the level of violence in this episode is kind of shocking. Like people definitely died here. Joker probably killed dozens, if not hundreds, of people on this night. And it's fucked up. It's fucked up. <laughs> He would have he would have melted uh, some of the main cast in a vat of acid. And again, that establishes what a threat he absolutely is in the series, and continues on and gets even worse. An amazing performance by uh, Mark Hamill. Yes. Oh, Dark Slayer, thank you for the five biddies. I always wondered how he smuggled the damn rocket. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. Arkham Asylum security is shit. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I like you, Robin Miller. Osnick, I'm right there with it. Because honestly, the Dick Grayson Robin, I didn't like this version of Robin until he became Nightwing in the animated series. Because Robin's doing this whole, uh, he does the fucking one-liners. There's a point in the episode when Batman is literally using a bat to hit these planes out of the air. These little remote control planes. And Robin goes, and that's why they call you Batman. I'm like, ugh, that does not, that, no. <laughs> it's like someone from the 60s. Uh, uh, show. But you know, had its day, of course, you know, Adam West and Burt Ward and everything like that, but it's like, yeah, not for what you're going here. I much prefer Tim Drake animated Robin compared to, you know, uh, Dick Grayson animated Robin. So I'm right there. So Robin is basically Martin. Yes, absolutely. That's why he likes Dick Grayson so much, because Dick Grayson does all the puns. Dick Grayson is Martin's favorite Robin chat. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, I love doing these guys. They've been so much fun. Mmm. Robin looks dumb in this show. <laughs> Um, let's see what else you guys have been saying. Mm. Oh, Jake Luther, you have a great jury voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jake Luther. I appreciate that. Oh, good impression. Thanks. I really appreciate that, guys. Joker must be, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he is a mechanical genius. Well, he's, he's, he actually, yeah, he has a genius level intellect. He, um, in terms of, uh, uh, chemistry, mechanical engineering, I mean, he has to have all of these things. Yeah, and you, in, in the series, you actually see him, like, working all these elaborate plans, and he has, like, an entire, like, laboratory where he makes all of his various, the Joker toxin, his acid. It's all stuff that he's stolen, and, you, and they're, again, they don't really call attention to it, but it's there, and I kind of like that. It's pretty cool. Like, they show off that, no, he's actually extremely intelligent. You know, like, just because of his personality, he just seems so goofy, but it's like, no, no, don't underestimate him. And Batman's like, don't underestimate this fucker, okay? He just killed hundreds of people tonight, and we just had fucking Christmas goose, and it's a wonderful life. I don't feel good with myself. So... That was a great episode. Absolutely. Yeah, I had a lot of fun this episode. Now, uh, chat, in the future, we continue reviewing Batman animated series. We're going to review, I believe it's City of Fear? City of Fear? What's the next episode? Nothing to Fear, which is the debut of Scarecrow, Jonathan Crane, chat. It was a fun episode. I've heard that Nolan's Joker was a military genius soldier. Yeah, so, I mean, kind of in the animated series, he's like that. I mean, I'm a soldier. He was a gangster. Very similar to Jack Nicholson's origin. I mean, he really is. Uh, he is, is, I mean, when he was not the Joker, when he was just a, a, a mob hitman, he went by the name Jack Napier. So, they borrowed a lot from the Tim Burton movie, but they did change up a, a few things, too. Um, even in Batman the Phantom, Mask, Mask of the Phantasm, you find out the Joker's name is Jack Napier, that he worked for the mob as a hitman, so, before he fell into the vat of acid, when they were trying to steal something in Ace Chemicals, so, it's pretty cool. He's always, he was always a bad person, I like that. Hmm... 